This video shows you how to enter manual S data in RHVAC. We have an example project already open in RHVAC. Click Load Preview to see what's in this project. This example project consists of three systems, each with an identical set of three rooms. As you can see, the results for each system show the same values. Of course, this project is not realistic, but we created it this way to illustrate three different ways of entering manual S data. For system one, we will use the nameplate capacity from AHRI and then use a typical percent sensible capacity to estimate our sensible and latent capacities. For system two, we will get the manufacturer's performance data table and let RHVAC determine the air conditioner's sensible and latent capacities by performing an interpolation using multiple values that we enter from that table. For system three, we will use the manufacturer's online app that will determine the sensible and latent capacities for the air conditioner based on the design conditions we enter. Open the system data window. Click the equipment tab. This video is mostly about the cooling side of things but let's enter a furnace just so the manual S report will show equipment on the heating side too. Click the cooling tab. Our air conditioner's condensing unit will also be a carrier brand, so type that in. For system one, we want to start by getting the nameplate data for the air conditioner from the ahridirectory.org website. We have a particular line of carrier air conditioners in mind, but we need to do a search in order to find one we want. Click Product Type. Click Residential. Click Air Conditioners and Air Conditioner Coils. Click AHRI Rating Conditions. In order to generate a list of air conditioners, we first need to enter some search criteria. Let's select both carrier entries in the Outdoor Unit Brand Name list. Now let's enter the first few characters of both the Outdoor and Indoor model numbers. This will show all carrier models that start with what we enter. Click the Search button. Notice that our search yielded 199 results. In this example, let's select the first result in our search. So in row 1, click the AHRI Certified Reference Number column. Let's copy a few things from this certificate and paste them into RHVAC. Start with the AHRI Reference Number. Paste in the AHRI reference number we copied. Now let's also copy the outdoor and indoor model numbers. Bring the AHRIdirectory.org website back to the front. Let's copy and paste the outdoor model number. Paste the outdoor model number into both the model number combined and outdoor model number inputs. Now let's copy and paste the indoor model number. In the model number combined input, add a plus sign after the outdoor model number, then paste in our indoor model number. We can see that the nominal total capacity is 18,000 BTUH. In this example, we're using the nominal nameplate data, which doesn't include anything about the sensible and latent capacities of the unit. Let's assume that this unit has a typical value of about 78% sensible capacity at our design conditions, so let's enter 14,000 and 4,000 BTUH for the sensible and latent capacities. 
If you have used software from the manufacturer to determine your air conditioner's adjusted capacities at your design conditions, you could enter the results into these adjusted inputs. For this example project, we'll save that for System 3. One more thing we need to get from the AHRI data is the CFM. Bring the AHRI directory.org website back to the front. Our air conditioner's airflow is 600 CFM. Click the Design tab. It's good to leave the system air type input set to auto until we select an air conditioner. We can see that with the auto setting, the minimum required cooling CFM is 529, so our unit's 600 CFM should be about right. Change the system air type to fixed. Enter 600 for the system CFM. Open the Manual S Performance Data window. Click Copy All to Design to copy System 1's design conditions to the Design column under Interpolation Conditions. You can see that the Design column has now been filled in. We want to set this window to Simple Mode, which enables only one row of the Interpolation Values grid. Click Simple Mode Options. Click Set to Simple Mode. Click Copy Nominal to copy the nominal, sensible, and total capacity values that we entered earlier into the first row of the interpolation grid. The total capacity to load ratio is 124%, which means that this air conditioner is 24% oversized while using the nominal data we entered. Let's take a look at the Manual S Performance Data Report. Click the Select Reports button. Click Clear All to uncheck all the reports. Check the box for the Manual S Performance Data Report. Click Preview. Remember that these nominal, sensible, and total capacity values that we entered were based on applying a typical percent sensible capacity of 78% to the nominal capacity that we got from AHRI. Whether you can use this nominal data for your report will depend on your local authorities. Let's proceed with doing different kinds of manual S evaluations for systems 2 and 3. Since we've already entered the model numbers and other data for System 1, let's copy System 1 to Systems 2 and 3. Click the Copy System button. Go to System 2. Click Paste System. Go to System 3. Paste System 1's data to System 3. Go back to System 2. Let's rename this system Interpolation, since we're going to enter performance data that will be interpolated by the program. Open the Manual S window again. This window is now showing System 2's data, which we copied from System 1. Let's go to the Elite Software website, EliteSoft.com, so we can get a link to Carrier's performance data. Mouse over the Downloads menu. Click Expanded Ratings Data. Scroll down to the section on Carrier. Click this link to get data for our Carrier unit that we selected earlier. Our model is the first one in the list. Click the link, then we'll take a look at the PDF file. The performance data for the air conditioner we've selected is on page 47. Rotate the page clockwise. Remember that our project has an outdoor dry bulb of 91 degrees, so we will be using the 85 and 95 degree columns. And remember that our supply airflow is 600 CFM, so we'll be using the data in these rows. 
And remember that our entering wet bulb temperature, EWB, is 62.459. So we will be using data from this row, 62 EWB, and from this EWB equals 67 row. The 63 degree EWB is for a special case that we will not be using. Bring our HVAC back to the front so we can start entering these values. Since our outdoor temperature is 91, we need to interpolate between the 85 and 95 degree columns on the PDF. So check the interpolate box and enter 85 and 95 degrees for the next lower and next higher inputs. And since our entering wet bulb is about 62.5, we need to interpolate between the 62 and 67 degree rows on the PDF. So check the box and enter those values for the next lower and next higher. This gray table of values shows us in which rows to enter our data. Let's go look at the total and sensible capacity values for our first row. As you can see, row 1 is for these conditions. EWB equals 62, airflow equals 600, ODB equals 85. The values we need are 17.39 for the total capacity and 15.72 for the sensible. Now let's enter those two values into row 1. Row 2 is for the following conditions. EWB equals 62, airflow equals 600, ODB equals 95. This time, the values we need to enter are 16.55 total capacity and 16.55 sensible. Enter those two values from the PDF into row 2. The next row will need values at the following conditions. EWB equals 67, airflow equals 600, ODB equals 85. The total and sensible capacity values this time are 19.03 and 13.19. Enter those values into the appropriate row. Our final row of data needs to be at the following conditions. EWB equals 67, airflow equals 600, ODB equals 95. The total and sensible capacity values this time are 18.00 and 12.80. Enter those two values into this row. The other adjustments inputs let you enter values from the manufacturer to adjust the capacity up or down for various reasons. Let's take a look at the manufacturer's notes in the PDF to see what kind of adjustments we need to make. This third note shows us that we need to make an adjustment due to the fact that our entering coil dry bulb temperature is 75, while the table values assume an EDB of 80. It says we are to reduce the sensible capacity using the following formula. 835 times 600 divided by 1000 times 5 equals 2505. The 600 divided by 1,000 part is needed because our airflow is 600 instead of 1,000. The value of 5 is used because our EDB is 5 degrees below the table's assumed EDB of 80. Since it says to reduce the sensible capacity when EDB is lower than 80, we will need to enter a negative number. And since we are using capacity units of MBTUH, we will need to divide 2,505 by 1,000. So we will need to enter a negative 2.505 into the direct adjustment to sensible input. Enter negative 2.505 for the direct adjustment to sensible value. This will reduce the sensible capacity and raise the latent capacity while keeping the total capacity the same. Here we can see that the results show that the selected unit is oversized by 17%. Manual S says to allow up to 15% oversizing and sometimes to allow up to 25% oversizing in certain situations. 
So this unit may be a little too large or it may be just fine for this project. The print preview window is still open from earlier. Click the Refresh Reports button so we can see the report for System 2. Go to the Manual S report for System 2. Here are the results again for System 2. Go to System 3. In our third system, we will go back to using simple mode, but this time we will use performance data calculated by the manufacturer instead of nameplate data. Now let's name System 3 Interpolation by Manufacturer. Bring up the EliteSoft.com website again and go back to the Expanded Ratings Data page. This time, click the link for MyCarrierRatings.com. Click the image to get started. This page lets us enter an AHRI reference number to go directly to a particular air conditioner. Let's return to RHVAC and copy and paste our number. Click Display Ratings. Click Performance Calc to go to the Performance Data page for this unit. Airflow is already set to our value of 600, and the inside dry bulb is set to our value of 75. But we need to change the other inputs to match our conditions. Click Calculate Capacity to display the capacities of this unit at our design conditions. Now let's copy and paste these capacities into the adjusted capacity inputs. We could enter our adjusted capacity values here on system data, but let's open the manual S window again and enter them there. Click the simple mode options button. Click set to simple mode. Paste in the adjusted sensible capacity that we copied to the clipboard. Since we are showing capacity units in MBTUH, we will need to add a decimal point three positions to the left. So replace the thousand separator comma with a decimal point. Replace the comma with a decimal point again. Click Copy Adjusted to copy the values we just entered into the first row of the Interpolation Values Grid. We can see that the results from the manufacturer's website give us the same capacities as in System 2 where we entered the table values ourselves and did our own interpolation. Click Refresh Reports again. Go to page 3 to see the report for System 3. Thanks for watching.